Hello everybody, welcome back to the Max Hamilton Road to the Show series, episode 173. If you look up in the top right, we have 767 innings pitched on our career. That's a lot more than I thought, but uh, that's a cool stat to look at. We're on a four-game winning streak, swept Houston somehow, ended up winning game one against Baltimore. We're now three and a half against the Yankees, um, three and a half back. And we get to face Tampa Bay, who's had an awful season so far. We're 6 and 1, a 1 4 3 ERA uh, with nearly 82 innings and just hit 100 strikeouts. In the last one, we had seven strikeouts and eight, gave up one earned run. PJ McNeil came in for the save, got it pretty easily, I'm pretty sure. And uh, yeah, so we'll face the Tampa Bay Rays on the 29th. We haven't faced them yet this year. But they're absolutely awful right now. They need to turn it around after a pretty good season last year. We were um, three and a half back in the division, but we are in a wild card spot right now by two and a half games. So uh, let's hopefully at least go two and two in the time we miss. But we are facing Baltimore and Tampa Bay, so I would like a little better than that. We didn't check Tampa Bay's lineup. We haven't faced them yet this year. Leroy McGrath leads him off. Oh, I thought this was the fast kid. No, I think he got traded. Willie Adamas hits second. Uh, Scooter Jeanette third. Mark, Seller, Mark Sellers fourth. Uh, Avasayo Garcia fifth. Marcelo Zuna sixth. David Bodie seventh. Guillermo uh, Heredia eighth. And Michael Perez ninth. Still a lineup that absolutely crushes. Um, lefties. Who was that? Who did they have last year? Um, can we go into Player Finder and find him? What was his last name? Um, he's a first baseman between the ages of 20. I can find him. I can find him. Um, I don't see him. Maybe give a little more age. No, I don't see him. Never mind. So they had a first baseman. I thought it was uh, Ramirez, maybe. We can look that up at least. Ramirez... Adrian Ramirez, no. Jose Ramirez, here he is. He's on the IL. He broke his foot. He's a big part of their lineup. I thought he was a first baseman. Also, looking over back at Milwaukee, Adrian Ramirez, an 86 overall. Now, uh, how's he doing on his career? We played with him in this year, um, and he's doing decently well. All right, he got hurt last year, it looks like, but that's a nice little catch up there. Their rotation isn't that strong. Keith Barger, uh, Ryan Yarbrough, Bennett Park, Willie Guevara's had an awful year, and Tyler Glass now. Not a single one of these guys except Ryan Yarbrough has been somewhat decent. Let's go ahead and get into this. Lose a couple there, that's not good. Work on cutter control. Two seam velocity needs to work, be worked on. Get that up. All right, that's bad. We lose three straight. Agent to a pitcher who's been on fire in the spring. Um, we're just gonna stay with the Jays. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. We got a rivalry, a little bit of a rivalry with this team. Let's go with Scooter Jeanette. Oh, we forgot to check our track record with the Rays. All right, let's check how we played against them in the past. 
The Rays, seven games, uh, three and two, one seven two ERA with sixty two strikeouts and fifty two in the third innings. Yeah. We win game one. Oh, and I forgot to really look at the lineups, but we're getting into it, I guess. Here's what our lineup will look like today. Our defensive arrangement, Daryl Nugent, we're still not friends with him, and Acosta and Hitchcock, we're still just the lowest tier, but it's all right. We'll see what happens. We're 30 and 25. They're 19 and 38. Let's get into this. Lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight we've got a good matchup in store between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Tampa Bay Rays. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Bennett Park will be the starter for the Rays in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks. And well, Bennett's been struggling. And it's 2 nothing. Let's go. Randall Grichuk. And Max's first pitch to McGrath. Strike one on the outside corner. We remain three and a half back on the Yankees, and we continue to separate from the rest. Yeah, Maddie, I can't tell you how important it is to throw that first run up on the board, and that's exactly fouled off. Little crooked number. Late on that, yeah. To give their pitcher a chance to relax and go out and pound the strike. Cutter moving in on his hands. It's popped up. Daryl Nugent will come in. And that's exactly what that cutter was meant to do. Jam him and pop him up. One down. Willie Adamas steps up. He's had a decent start to the year. It's always nice to find a shortstop who can really hit. And Willie's one of them. He hits very well. He's turning into quite a good player. Well, Devo, you better be ready to swing with Matt Ross behind the dish, big zone. Yeah, you know coming into this one, you better pull the trigger. If something's close, Matt Ross is going to punch your ticket. Hey, he was early on that. Looking Sweeping curves, tough spot here. Don't hit it. It was a pretty good pitch, though. Lock him up with a curveball right there. Pretty good pitch, but he didn't quite get it to come back. One, two for Max. Splitter doesn't even come close. Two, two. That's popped up again. That cutter is doing the job today. Two down. Scooter Jeanette. Didn't hit our spot there. Jeanette's definitely hit the best on this team. He was an acquisition from them last year. We get the call there. And uh, he hits pretty well against both sides. We have a decent rivalry with him. Uh, mainly because we played him back when we were in Milwaukee, too. This is a guy that's uh, followed us. Sweeping curve. Two and two. Doesn't have the spot. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curve. Gonna go circle change. And breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Fouled it off. Back on the change up, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Don't want to use showtime yet. And another foul ball. He's early again. Maley sets up. Fastball. He just watches it. We freeze him. And it's three up, three down for the Rays. Pitching in Tropicana is a, a decent place to pitch for us because balls don't fly too well. But if we can uh, get some pop-ups and strikeouts, I think we'll be fine. Bottom of the inning now. Alright, Mark Sellers. Hey, we're still in 
This man hits. 72 contact versus left 96 power. This is the guy I'm most scared of. In terms of stats, this he runs out to second. He reminds me a lot of the Yankees' Luke Voigt. And I hate pitching to Luke Voigt. <laughs> We can do this little backdoor cutter for a strike. Won't get the call. Fair enough. Alright, that one should be in there. And that one is up the middle. Base hit. He roped that ball. Garcia hits pretty well against the lefties, and that'll be a one out single. Caught a little too much plate. Not really, though. Alright, Azuna. Hamilton. Hamilton. Oh, shoot. And the double play will get us out of it pretty quick. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Adam, at second. Daryl will make a decent throw. Good pick by Russell. And Ozuna hits right into that double play down. And I'll do it for two. On to the third up 2 0. So, nothing going that inning. What's up, David Bodie? I mean, David Bodie's really just remembered for his uh, hit versus the Nationals, I believe. And when he was with the Cubs. Isn't he still with the Cubs? He just got traded in this sim. Or he signed elsewhere. How about a fastball one, two? 93, and he watches it. Just stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Hmm. I don't know how I want to attack him. I'd rather not let him on. First batter of the inning. Let's go with the showtime sweeping curve. Really well placed. And Bodie will just watch it for our second strikeout of the day. I usually don't use Showtime this early, but I definitely did not want to lose this guy and walk him. First batter of the inning, no. 91 hits the corner. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. A ball and a strike now. The 1-1 one, one home. Right side. Scooped up. Good play, Adam Frazier. Two down. All right, Michael Perez. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. That ball's actually hit pretty well, but Grichuk is there, and we're through three. Grichuk hit a two-run shot. He will be back up this inning. Oh, wait, no. He already hit. Never mind. <laughs> uh, we're through three, scoreless. Or, we're up 2-0. I'm in max. A couple walks, but nothing comes of it. We're back to the top of the Rays lineup. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one. Got a lot of zone. Good play. McGrath doesn't run very well. One down. Base is empty here with one away, and up next will be Willie Adams. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Splitter in there, strike one. We're really trying to hit that 
corner. Adam Frazier has been awfully busy today. We're helping your case for Gold Glove. <laughs> Second baseman Scooter Jeanette. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this evening. What a play, Adolfo Acosta. Three up, three down again. What a play by our young third baseman. Number 93 laying it out on the line. And makes that play. Let's go. Through four. Still up. And two more will score now. As we say as we settle down to face the four hitter with the Rays. Mark Sellers. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last Super late on that. Behind, you have to score a bunch in the eighth what was he on that? Way late. Nothing in two count and the Fastball. And Got a piece of that one, finally. Okay. O2, sweeping curve. And we get the call. Wow. Thanks, Blue. Okay, then. Yeah, that was uh, a generous call for our third strikeout of the day. In Max's defense, though, throughout the year, we have failed to get many calls when it comes to straight three calls, especially with Showtime. And this one's too far inside, ball two. Too old to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Line toward the gap. Oh, that's down. He might go. No, he will not. We got down 2 0 against Garcia last time, and he. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he got a hit last time too. He's the only other person to get it. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee, or he was sitting off speed right there. Marcel Azuna is a formal, formal, former Hank Aaron Award winner. Filthy. Good job going down Good job fouling it off. That time. Two and two mm, that one was close. Swing and a hard liner to <laughs> Ball's hit well. That should be caught by our center fielder. Lewis Brinson has it. Two down. Not many strikeouts today. Wasn't placed great. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Good way to start it on the outside corner for strike one. And we got two down now, two down. Hit down the third base line. Foul ball. Far too early for that. O2. How did he get a piece of that? No runs, two hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Got him with a splitter. Strikeout number four. And the second time we strike out Bodie, the single, the one out single by Garcia will come to amount to nothing. We're still up four nothing as we head into the sixth here. Well, double play kind of ruined that part, but right now up four. Max feels comfortable. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. That's it pretty well, but it should be caught by Billy McKinney. One down. That's the first out of the inning. Stepping in, Michael Perez. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. 
taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. One out, nobody on. A one sweeping curve on O one. one We never do that, but we tried here. Need another strike. Let's go high and in. Fouled away. Any timing on that? Very early. That's a good pitch. Let's we'll see if we can get Perez. No, we cannot. He's late on that one now. Come on, blow it by him, Max. Got him. 91 on the gun. Strikeout number five on the day. That ball moves back. People forget that. And he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. To the plate now, Leroy McGrath. One ball, no strikes to count. I'm not sure exactly how MLB The Show does it, um, how they deal with regression. But Max is only, I believe, 23 years old. That's on the ground. Base hit. Shoot. McGrath will take a single. But Max is 23, and uh, by the end of MLB 20 the show, I believe he'll probably be 25. That's my guess. Filthy. But he's got, he can get a lot better, and that's scary. Two outs, and we have two strikes. Let's go for it. That's a bad decision. Grichik running and has it. Let's go. Oh, a little scary there. But Grichik chases it down. And we're into the home stretch. Let's finish this thing. Right, scooter. Seventh here, and up to hit next, a guy who's turned into a big time RBI man, Scooter Jeanette. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. At strike two on a place change up around the knees. After two great we'll try the fastball, then we'll go switch the curve. And 95 max. Are you joking me? He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we That's the hardest I've ever seen him throw. Weekly hit balls in this one. Holy cow. That one's 94. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. We do have a perk where if we uh way inside hit the, when we hit the seventh, we get some velocity back. But geez, 95. Seared down the first baseline. Oh, and he can't come up. Hitchcock will recoup and step on the bag. Two down. So here is Avisayo Garcia. Here comes the first pitch. Splitter. Strange one, but we went for it, and we missed. That was 85. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. Two out, nobody on. Well located Perfectly placed. Catches the black for a called strike. Garcia 2-2. Two, two, or 1-2. And he chases it in the dirt. Good play, Luke. That'll end it for the 7th. 95 miles per hour. Max is starting to throw harder, guys. That's exciting. Hey, another run. Two more runs. 7-0. We face six, seven, eight. Unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the and our pitch count is low. To take some of the pressure off, 
He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. A one. Splitter misses. Cutter popped up. Grichik has it. One down. That cutter is forcing pop ups today. Late swinging pop ups. Feels good. What a play by Hitchcock. Two down. Keeping that pitch count down. He flew out in his last at bat. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Why not try it? One count. Here it comes. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. It's been the story of tonight with that curveball. It's just missing a little outside. One and two now as that one's fouled off. One, two. He's early. Let's she get him. Don't foul it off. Oh, well, he will ground out. Good pick, Hitchcock. Frazier once again gets another play. And well, no strikeouts that inning. We have seven on the day through eight. We'll get to go for our complete game shutout here. Three up, three down, and let's go. Got nine, one, two. It's not a bad part of the lineup to face. It's never a good feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. I should have ran for it, but I didn't. Acosta has it one down. We have plenty of showtime. We can use it here. Strike one. Like right here, strike two coming in. Making the ninth a little easier for us. Blue. Word of miss. Don't complain, Max. It's a 7 nothing. We're fine. Alright, let's see his timing on that. He's late. Yeah, we'll go fastball. Popped up. That's going to get down. Oh, no, it's not. Grichik has it. Two down. Well. 93, don't get the call. We could throw Maddox today, possibly, if we get this guy out in time. There's strike one. Something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate. Seems like way too many guys are chasing pitches out of the zone and trying to hit pitchers, pitchers. Okay, 2 1. Down and away. There's no success in that. Fouled off. Last showtime pitch. Let's see if it works. On the ground. So it'll only be seven strikeouts as Nugent makes the play. It's a Maddox for Max. Yes, sir. Another complete game shutout. And the Blue Jays will secure a 7 0 victory. Well done, boys. Totally dominant in this one. A seven nothing shutout final score tonight. The Toronto Blue Jays jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Max Hamilton earns win number seven on the season, and it's a dandy, a complete game, three hit performance. It's win number seven. Park is now seven and three. I didn't realize how good of a record he had. It's kind of strange for how bad his team is. Anyways, Park threw nearly five, but gave up four earned runs. We threw nine innings, only three hits, no walks, uh, no earned runs, obviously, and seven strikeouts. Grichuk was three for four with two RBIs. Hitchcock had two RBIs. Hoskins was three for four um, and scored three times. Adam Frazier was one for four and had two RBIs. I was very proud of the offense today. They did awfully well. Um, if I'm being honest. So I'm I'm very pleased with today's outing from both sides.
And look at that, we can now work on our fastball velocity a little more. No need for any of those stats anymore. We're maxed on all of them. Huh. That was a good outing versus the Rays. And that was our last start of May. We get, oh, we get St. Louis this time. Let's go. Not Baltimore. Um, and then we get Texas. So excited for that. But we get to face a couple teams we don't usually get to face. And then we get Detroit. And then we get Pittsburgh or Milwaukee. Oh, we don't get Milwaukee. I want to face Milwaukee. Either way, that's a, a good bit in the future. We'll face off on the third against St. Louis in the next episode. Let's check out the standings. We are three games back now. The Rays have now moved to 16 back. Jeez, they are struggling. So are the Red Sox, man. So are the Red Sox. But, yeah. Oh, and now we're tied for a wild card spot. Great. Oh, no, we're not. Yes, we are. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, one of these would be in the wild card, and we're tied with that team, so it's okay. We're early in the season. We still have a lot to learn. Um, and also, I don't have my Tier 4 thing equipped. Have I never had that equipped? And I've had it available to me all this time. Um, we are not usually losing. That's the thing. Yeah, that one will help a lot. Alright, and then we'll save that. And I'll call it an episode here. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button. And subscribe to the channel. This has been uh, Max Hamilton. Oh, make sure I do the right save file. If I overwrote my Adam one or something, I'd kill myself. Um, yeah, one seven. This has been Max Hamilton, episode one seventy three in the books.